warm welcome once again to The Ref Show. We have Carlton Palmer back from China uh, joining us this week. Uh, our regular Mark Halsey is with us in the studio as well to review what's been, and let's be fair about this, a generally good weekend for Premier League referees. As ever, one or two talking points, one or two learning points. Mark, uh, if we can kick off with you first of all, there's one particular referee that we've had before us in the studio on quite a number of occasions, isn't there? And to be fair, we, we've proverbially kicked his backside. But, but, John Moss. John Moss, yeah, I mean, I know John reads our, our blogs, our ref cam blogs, and I know he watches this programme, and yes, he has come in for a bit of, of, of stick, and, and, and rightly so, but, you know, when, when they are refereeing well, we also praise, and, um, you know, I wrote a couple of weeks ago that John had a, had, a, had a good game, and I'd like to see him smile a bit more, just to, you know, to, to show players he's enjoying it as well, and it diffuses situations as well, and, and it was good to see him smile with the players on, on Saturday at uh, Liverpool Tottenham. Yeah, a 1-1 one, one draw, quite an entertaining game, big game, and in particular in that game, uh, Coutinho, he spotted uh, you know, a blatant dive from Coutinho, didn't he? It was embarrassing, embarrassing. Yeah, yeah. yeah it was, it was. He did have a good game. Yeah, he was, he let it go, he, he wasn't fussy. Yeah, in every game you miss one or two free kicks, but on the whole he wasn't fussy, he let the game flow, and uh, he picked up quite rightly so, you know, the Coutinho simulation. That's, it's a disease in the game still, and we want rid of that. It wasn't even in the penalty area, was it? No, well done, John. Yeah, he's done well, and he's, he's strung together now three or four good games back to back, and that's really, as with a player, that's what you're looking for. Yeah, I mean, he, he wasn't he wasn't happy with one of our blogs from Andy Martin because he, Andy did criticise him, but yeah. and, I, and I know John read that he wasn't happy, but you know, at the same time, he's, he, I think he's done well and he's he's, he's refereeing well, well. Rob Harris gave him due credit in that latest uh, ref cam uh, from Anfield. Mark Clattenburg is, is rarely before us in a controversial sense, but he is uh, this weekend. Uh, West Ham 2, uh, Crystal Palace 2. Uh, West Ham, they're surrendering a couple of points there in a game they thought they could and should have won. Now, Cuarte's straight red card for a foul on Dwight Gale as polarised opinion. What's yours? Well, it's Mark? interesting. We were speaking about it off air, weren't we? And, yeah. and I think Carton will have his say on, on the matter as well. But listen... You know, it, let's, let's look at law first, OK? Mm. A reckless challenge endangering a player's safety with excessive force has to be punished with a red card. Now, where Mark was, his position, he was right behind Coyote. He was airborne, he was out of control, he had no chance of playing the ball. And the thing is about Mark, he, he saw it, he recognised it, and he dealt with it straight away, straight away. And, you know, I see West Ham have appealed, and in my opinion, I'd be very, very surprised if they win, if, if the FA overturn that red card, because for the FA to overturn the red card, it's got to be a serious, obvious error by Mark Plattenberg, and it, it wasn't an error. It, it was What's the correct decision. I, 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 we spoke about it before we went up, come on air. It's, 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 it's a red card. And this is from a hard man. It's a red card. There's, n there's no two ways about it. In the, yeah. in the present climate, present law, it's a red card. He's got it spot on. Confusion about this. People say, oh, it was only with one foot. It wasn't with two. It doesn't make difference. He yeah. wasn't in control and he was airborne. Absolutely spot on, Carl. He wasn't in control. He might make a good referee. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. That has never been said before. That's an exclusive <laughs> comment. <laughs> Absolutely. It really is. Nobody's but ever said that. It's interesting, what, you know, the, the comments of the manager after the game. And I, I just, you know... I'm, I'm surprised what he came out with, you know. Well, yes, both you, managers. Both it, managers, it, it, but it's worrying but, but, that neither but, of them. But Alan Pardew's old school, isn't he? You know, he thinks those challenges should still go on today, but yeah. obviously, yeah. obviously in, not. In the, in the, you would have got away with it, yeah, ten years ago. But in the yeah. present climate now, you're just not going to get away with, the with such. Was 40, 60 yeah, 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 yeah. You're, you're never exactly. going to get away with those sorts of challenges. And Mark was in a great position, and that's yeah. what makes Mark a top referee because he recognises it and he and he deals with it. He, you know, he doesn't shirk his responsibility. Yeah. He doesn't shirk his responsibility. He so the big call. He's rather absolutely. similar. We had one talking point in the championship with Barry Bannon of Sheffield Wednesday. And you were saying, and I think everybody in the other ref was saying, don't appeal, don't bother appealing yeah. Sheffield Wednesday because it's not a clear and obvious error, and they failed with the appeal. Absolutely. So, so it'd be very interesting to see what happens today. No, it won't. It, it won't, won't. It won't. It won't. But if you know, it, it won't. Definitely not. If it's not. consistent, it, it's, it's, it's absolutely. Not. But it all depends who's sitting on that panel. Yeah. Seems to be some confusion in the game on that issue, on on the tackling side and what is dangerous, as there is about offside, perennially about offside. So we had Stoke two, Swansea two, 
and we had uh, Swansea coming back from two goals down. Now the second goal, the equaliser, the crucial one, Mark Hughes are very upset saying uh, that, it was, that there was a player in the offside position, in an offside position, which there was, obscuring the goalkeeper's view, which clearly he seemed to be. Yeah, I think Mark's got, got a good case there. And, you know, the law, the law is simple, you know, interfering with play, interfering with an opponent. Was he seeking to gain an advantage being in that position? And I, th I think Mark's absolutely spot on. And I think the flag should have gone up for offside. Yes, he's, he's, he's interfering with play, seeking to gain an advantage by being in that position and interfering with the opponent, i.e. being in the, in, the, in the eye line of the goalkeeper. Yeah, I mean, listen, I, I, heard, I was listening to Peter Schmeichel yesterday um, <clears throat> on TV, and, it, and he's right. I think we need to take this, this, uh, this question of, of whether it is or whether it isn't. Let's just leave it as offside is offside. Yeah. And then it doesn't, it doesn't bring up a question. You know, the question doesn't come in. Is it in an offside position? Let's, I, I think that law needs to change. Suppose it's a screamer from 25 yards and there's a guy out near the touchline in an offside position. It yeah. seems that's what used to happen. Flag goes up, a brilliant goal is denied because technically there's a guy yeah, offside. Yeah, but, but, but at least you know. You I, there's, there's been more grey area with this offside, inactive and whatever. And especially, to be honest with you, if you're teaching your defenders to defend properly, You've got to tell them to push up. You push up now and that guy is, is inactive to start off with but then becomes active and then can lay the ball in. Okay. You can't stay in there. So That's for me... I, I, You're I, old school on it. Go back to what it was. Yeah, then. offside's offside. What do you offside. think, Mark? No, I, I, I disagree. I, I understand, you know, had he been two yards to the left or two yards to the right, yeah. no problem at all. G give the goal. We, you know, we're in the entertainment business. The, the fans pay a lot of money and we want to we see goals. Um, but the, I mean, the law, the law is simple on, on, on that and uh, officials, but officials, goals, officials, but always controversy ab absolutely. Because, because but, of it. But it's that part of the entertainment. Yeah, <laughs> but <laughs> officials, officials at that level should be getting those right because it's clear in law, Carlton, yeah. that if you, if you're interfering with an opponent, interfering with a goalkeeper, you're in his eye line, it's clear. It, you know, PGML will come back and say, oh, well, his distance from, from the goalkeeper was, was considerable. No, that, that, that's, that's tosh. You know, he's in the eye line of the goalkeeper. The goalkeeper's got to go like that, go like that. So the flag should have gone up. It should, there should have been dialogue between the referee and the assistant, and, and the, the, the outcome should have been the goal disallowed for offside for um, the Swansea City player interfering with an opponent. Well, I agree with that. Right, and we've, we've found some common ground. <laughs> yeah. I wonder if we should mention Matt Letizia. <laughs> Maybe not. Maybe not. <laughs> we'll save that for another day. Or the second part. <laughs> no, Sky listen, viewers. Listen, we've got him calm down. Don't, don't. Sky viewers will understand exactly what I'm referring to, then, won't they? I, I yeah. think so, yes. Yeah, OK. <laughs> well, it'd be brilliant if we could get Matt and Sissy on the studio as well, wouldn't it? Uh, second part of the ref show will uh, be devoted partly to Leicester City. Amazing story, 1-0 uh, victory, and one or two talking points following that. But just to wrap up part one, uh, basement battle between uh, Sunderland and West Brom, a 0-0 draw. Roger East was in charge of this. Uh, and I think maybe some praise as well, because there was a, an offside. Sunderland finally netted at the end through uh, Andoy, didn't they? And yeah. And an alert linesman. Good, 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 good uh, um, offside flag by the assistant. And as, as I say, they're the ones that say, you, you know, they sh the flag should be going up. They, you know, they, they're, they're going to come full time next season. They've paid a lot of money. You expect to get those, those decisions correct. Okay. Uh, Back from China, I referred to in the first part, you live in what, part of the year in Shanghai now. Yeah, Shanghai. Uh, and I know you work in an academy, a sports academy over there, but you must have noticed the explosion in, of interest and money on the Chinese scene. In yeah, it's, got, it's gone ballistic. As I said to you before now, it's been made compulsory in the schools now. Uh, two months ago, I believe, that football's played in, in schools. All the clubs out there now, they're chucking big money at it. There's a lot of players coming and international coaches coming out, out there now. Um, I mean, the league's still quite in its infancy at the moment. I mean, it's similar to America in that respect. But if they're throwing that type of money at it now, I mean, you, you know, you've got the Denver Bars out there, you've got Tim Cale out there, you've got Ramirez just gone out there, and they're paying ridiculous money. They're going to be a world force. Well, well, you would think so. I mean, the, the population that they've got, you know, and they get yeah. European coaches in there, I mean, maybe a market for referees, yeah, eh? I was about to say, is there any, well, any, any, any room for referee coaches well, out well there? They, well, as, as the league grows, they're going to have to sort it out because mm. there is a lot of corruption out there, yeah. refereeing standards poor, so they're going to have to sort that out. 
a good chat for another day. Thanks, Carlton. Thanks, Mark. Back with part two. Join us for that. See you then.